Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and welcome to the long-awaited setup tour video. So I did the setup tour project video right before final exams, and I'm actually still wearing that no sleep team bracelet, so thanks to Ty Moss and crew, that got us through finals obviously. But now that finals are over and um, finished taking them, I actually had the time to put some of those papers away and actually uh, get my setup together and actually start to put together more videos. So this is the room that a lot of videos are, well most videos really, are shot in and dreamt up. And this is, a, I guess, an overall tour of that setup. So I'm going to start left to right since that's usually how it goes. And right off the bat you have a uh, four bank of, of lights, some fluorescent lights here. Uh, this is actually, so this is a, a pillow from Throwboy. Actually, so is this one. These are both Throwboy pillows. And this is an, a one-of-a-kind piece of art, actually. This is a 24 by 24 inch solid metal frame, uh, basically Justin Maller. If you guys haven't already heard of him, I've shouted him out on Twitter a couple of times. Makes some awesome art, and that is one of his facets. Uh, and it's obviously the Daft Punk uh, logo from Ram. So that is what that is, and that's I'm about to be hung on the wall next to these other facets I have here, so that's pretty awesome. And this is this bookshelf, which really was what mostly got cleaned uh, after final exams. So some textbooks from the last semester, some microfibers and uh, cameras. Uh, that's the Canon C100 and the Panasonic GH4, which I'm playing with a lot more. And uh, as you might have noticed, my videos have been, the last few except for this one, have been in 4K recently. So I'll be talking more about that in another video. And this here is the plaque that YouTube sends when your YouTube channel hits 100,000 subscribers. I got that a couple of months ago. Uh, you're also supposed to get one when you hit a million subscribers, but obviously this one was more than a year late, so I don't know when that one will come, but this is a silver plaque and I obviously wouldn't have this without you guys, so I'm gonna thank you for that one. Uh, and that is a camera bag and actually some business cards. I think I vowed to show you guys these after CES, but I never actually got to, so boom. There is what the business card looks like uh, with the new logo and everything. Oh, in the back, of course. That's really where uh, I was proud of that. So anyway, that's the bookshelf, pretty much the mo most boring part. Uh, so over here, package I need to ship, some storage, my backpack, which I happen to use every day because I'm a student. Uh, and actually I have in here my laptop, which is the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro, and it has this black decal on it, which I've always had on it since the first day I got it, so that's that. Um, where I sleep. <laughs> um, this is uh, the printer that I use, which is this Epson Artisan 730. Again, this is boring stuff, mostly for school. This is my daily tablet of choice. It is the Nexus 10, uh, and I happen to really, really want the next version of that to come out soon. Uh, a clock that's not on right now. And my wallet, which is a little thing I got from Kickstarter, if it would focus. This is a sort of a small Nexus stitched looking thing. Doesn't want to focus. That's okay. I'm shooting with the RX100, so it'll focus when it wants to. So this is the uh, the beginning of the desk setup part that a lot of people are curious about. So again, I'm gonna go left to right because that seems easiest here. Uh, a lot of the video gear. I'm not gonna like review everything I talk about, but if you guys want to see maybe a more detailed video of I guess how I shoot videos or what I use for, for different shots or something like that. Maybe leave me a comment of what you want to see or a thumbs up if you're interested in that idea. But anyway, this is a monopod. I, I This is a recently uh, acquired uh, monopod because the one I was using before wasn't quite this hefty, but this is from Manfrotto and it is a beast and it stands up by itself. So it has these little feet at the bottom. But this is the tripod I use. It has a Manfrotto 504 HD head on it and it has carbon fiber sticks and it is quite a beast. So this is the little side table I got from Amazon for about 50 bucks, and it's housing or holding a couple of interesting things here. So if I can get this to fall out the way. This is a, a white balance card, uh, and it's, it's a pretty simple but also kind of underrated tool. Basically you hold it up to the camera, and in post-production you can match the whites to the white and the blacks to the black and, and get all the colors to match, and I'm still learning this kind of stuff, but Obviously, this isn't quite white balanced perfectly because that doesn't look perfectly gray, does it? No, it does not. <laughs> this is the slider that I use. It's not a motorized slider, but it's kind of one of the coolest things that I own, and I'm really happy about how well it works. So it has a 501 head, I believe, on it, or a 502 HD head from Manfrotto. 
but basically it's carbon fiber sticks. It's called the eye footage shark slider and it's counterbalanced. So you can just move this weight over here and your slides will be perfectly smooth. Uh, maybe not perfectly smooth. It takes some getting used to the way this, this momentum works, but it's one of my favorite pieces of gear. Might even do a full separate review of it, but I love this thing. Uh, again, the eye footage shark slider carbon rails. You can extend it to make it twice as long. It's awesome. Uh, and then this head also swivels here too. So this is the camera uh, that I'm using. So you, like I said, the past couple of videos you may have noticed have been 4K, right? So this is the Red Scarlet. It is quite a beast of a camera. And believe me, there's a lot that I don't know about this camera already, but I'm loving shooting with it already. Uh, on the front is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter F 1.8 lens, one of the old favorites. Not old, it's actually a, a new lens really, but it's an awesome favorite for a lot of YouTubers and I have a backpack from Anton Bauer on the back powering this guy. Uh, and it is, it's a beast, kind of hard to pick up, but again, that's where these sticks come in handy uh, and all the Manfrotto uh, stuff is really, really well clipped for that. And I'm just beginning to get used to this, but it's an awesome camera and if you watch my previous videos, you'll see uh, the, the sharpness and the resolution and the colors look a lot better. So it's thanks to this guy. Uh, the notebooks that I've used in videos and taken notes in from Dwell, uh, those are probably in a previous video you can check out. Again, I'll try to link as much of this stuff below as I can, but it's going to be kind of hard because there's a ton of stuff I'm talking about in the video. These are some other lenses I use. Uh, this is one of the, so this Sigma lens here does not have image stabilization. So when I do need image stabilization, this is the 17 to 55 millimeter Canon f2.8 and it does have IS. The Tokina 11 to 16, very wide angle lens. I used it in the iPhone 5S review and a couple of other random shots. Uh, the TV video I did, that was that lens. And this is a running gun lens. This is the 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8, a crazy beast of a telephoto lens. Uh, but it's awesome for events when you need to get in there close. And these are two Philips Hue LED bulbs. So I'm going to get to the Philips Hue stuff in a second. Uh, here's a little Android figurine collection going on here. Uh, and some charging stuff I have back here. This is a Blue Lounge Sumo holding these cables. One to charge Google Glass, one to charge the Nexus 10, one to charge my iPad Mini Retina and iPhone 5S. This is a giveaway coming up soon. Uh, and some drawers. Uh, obviously these aren't that interesting, it's just kind of what I have in here. I mean a calculator, memory cards, USB cable, random stuff like that. Unboxing knife. <laughs> Uh, but for the most part, it, I mean, there's phones in here, uh, there are cables and video gear and, and microphones and filters and batteries and, and stuff that's related to what I do on my YouTube channel. So that's basically what's all in all these drawers. And then, of course, as a college student, notebooks, right? You need paper. Uh, to the left over here is uh, a lot of the accessories for the red stuff, including more storage since I take mini SSDs. This is a little hi-hat tripod with a Manfrotto head on it. I use it for a lot of the low shots that you see from down here on this angle when they're taking the slider around there. That is because the slider is on this hi-hat tripod. So there you go, fun fact. Uh, I'm gonna put this back here. So you may have noticed it's, it's not the cleanest desk in the world. I tend to say I'm kind of a minimal person, but definitely not the most minimal. So this is the, the tablet that I keep uh, around the desk a lot. It's the, 128 gig Wi-Fi iPad mini retina and so actually the, the thing I use it most for here is the Philips Hue app so if I go ahead and turn this red blue all the lights in this room including the four up here I uh, just turned red and blue because of the scheme I have turned on I have a video setting which turns all of them uh, bright white and on so that's pretty cool so that's really <laughs> the, the number one most used app on this iPad uh, but there's a ton of other stuff uh, that I use for basically watching videos and catching up and then Twitter and all that kind of tablet fun stuff. I surprisingly don't game very much. This is the last lens of choice. This is the Sigma 18-35mm to f1.8 rehoused cine style. So it's declicked aperture ring here uh, from f1.8 to f16. Uh, I have red gaffer tape just because I like red and it has a filter on the front but no lens cap so I keep it like that. And that is the uh, Nexus 5's wireless charger for when I actually charge the Nexus 5. 
So this is the iPhone 5S. Like I said, I carry a couple phones at any given time. These just happen to be the two that are uh, most used right now. This is the Google Play Edition HTC One M8 uh, and the iPhone 5S in black. This is the Fuji X100S. It's a pretty bold uh, camera. I haven't talked a lot about it, but I kind of want to show it more on video because it's a really quietly awesome camera and it does a lot of things really well. So I'm probably going to do a video about that sooner or later. Uh, I want to do also, see, you're getting a, a lot of sneak peeks of stuff I want to do videos about. This is a Colorware Apple keyboard. It's completely black uh, and it's next to a magic trackpad connected to the Mac. But yeah, this is a completely black keyboard. But other than that, it's just a regular Apple keyboard, so that's pretty sweet. I have no idea what this chair is. No idea. It's, you, I mean, you can probably find it at Staples, but <laughs> it's a chair, so it works. This is the mouse I use, the Logitech. Uh, Performance MX, and it's a pretty popular mouse. You've probably already heard of it uh, just on this regular looking mouse pad. Uh, so these are the displays I use, and a lot of people have asked about the stand that the displays are on top of, and that is from OFC Express. Ow! <laughs> from OFC Express, and they're made of really just wood, and they're painted black, and they're actually meant to hold a TV, but Basically, yeah, since I have two displays here, I put them on top, one on each side, and that works perfectly. So the displays are the ASUS PQ321Q displays. They're 3840 by 2160. They're 4K displays. Uh, obviously, they don't always have nothing on them, but when I do a video, there you go. Mac OS X just lets you swoop over uh, to the new spaces. The studio monitors I have are no longer sold, actually, but they are iKey Audio M505 V2 Studio Monitors, 5-inch woofers, 1-inch tweeter at the top. I'm, I'm a big fan of high-quality audio, and whenever I can listen to it, I'm listening to them on this. Coming from the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, uh, and that is the preamp. That's where I will record audio, and that's where it'll output audio to the speakers, uh, or studio monitors, whatever you want to call them, through this. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, and I mentioned audio, so I guess I'll go right here to the audio rig section. And this is the, well, this is what shows up underneath the camera. It doesn't actually show on camera, but it's right underneath the frame whenever I'm talking to the camera. It's the shotgun microphone, the Sennheiser MKH416. And that's plugged into XLR, and this end of the XLR will either go into the Zoom H4n or into the Scarlett 2i2 when I'm recording audio. There's the Mac Pro that runs the show right now. It's on <laughs> Mac OS X 10.9.2 because the 10.9.3 update did not play nice with the displays. But that is basically the surface of the desk right there. Probably the most interesting part uh, and I got the most questions about. This is the artwork I have up here. I, I don't know what these are called. Uh, I got these from like a Bed Bath & Beyond when I was first moving into this apartment. And one of them is of Paris, one of them is of London, but I, I don't know what they're called. so. I guess you can Google image search to try to find them. Um, but that's, yeah, that's the surface of the desk and that's really what the tour is all about, right? This is the other side of the room. I have these, again, this light, there's the other one. Uh, that's the closet, not too much important in there, except maybe those boxes. Um, but that's the essence of the room tour. Probably the easiest edit I will ever have because I don't really have to cut very much video to upload this to YouTube. It'll just be in 1080p as you guys have already seen. But yeah, that's it guys. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in a comment below. I might do a separate video about them. This is, by the way, I don't have perfect cable management as I wish I did. There's a blue lounge cable box here with gaffer tape and another one here and another one down there. Uh, but this is the battery charging station. So the red vault batteries charge there. The 5D batteries charge there. The C100 batteries charge. The rechargeable double A's for my mouse and my keyboard. Uh, the Anton Bauer backpack batteries, all this stuff <laughs> is a charging station, basically. Anyway, that'll be it. Giveaway coming soon. Much more stuff to come. Stay tuned on Twitter if you want to be first to hear about the giveaway. But this has been the MKBHD post-final exam 2014 setup tour. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.